Uh, what you see here is the uh, propulsion system of our current generation fuel cell vehicle, the Hydrogen 4. Uh, we at GM believe that fuel cells and hydrogen are the future, since these cars are running without any emissions. Um, just to briefly explain to you the technology, what you can see in the back here is the hydrogen tanks that you fill up with hydrogen. And then in your, the fuel cell system that you see right here, hydrogen from the tanks and the air from the surroundings combine to form electricity and uh, to be provided to the electric motor that you can see here, which is propelling the wheels. So in the end, there is nothing but water vapor coming out of the exhaust pipe of this vehicle, making it a true zero emission vehicle. This is not something that you find in the laboratory. You can drive these cars right now, the fourth generation of fuel cell vehicles of GM, the ca a car called Hydrogen 4, and this is just a chassis, but the real car is standing over there, so let's go there. Now this is the Hydrogen 4, uh, our current generation fuel cell vehicle. Um, what's new about the uh, Hydrogen 4 is that we have now taken fuel cell cars out of our labs and onto the roads. So there will be more than 100 vehicles of this type to be deployed worldwide, um, given to ordinary customers, and 10 of those vehicles will be deployed uh, under the umbrella of the Clean Energy Partnership, a demonstration project running in Berlin. So why Berlin? Um, Apart from the fact that if you compare the various countries in Europe, there is the, the largest funding program in Germany um, with um, more than uh, 500 million euros spent over uh, 10 years. Um, there are other reasons why we focus on Berlin. And if I say we, I not only mean GM, but also the other companies involved in this demonstration project. Uh, the reason is that at this point in time where we want to give these cars into customers' hands, that we need a conjoined effort, meaning that we place all the cars, and this is the largest passenger car demonstration project in Europe, that we put all these cars into one location to get most of the learnings possible relative to driving those vehicles as well as refueling them. Because this is the very important thing that we face now. We need to get feedback from ordinary customers. How is it to drive such a vehicle? What do they like? What do they dislike? And how is it to refuel uh, those cars? Again, what do they like and what do people dislike? To get improvements for uh, developing the next generation of those vehicles and to eventually bring this, bring this technology to the market.